it is now time to create the relationships between the four tables in our model. At the moment, if I was to try and create a visualization that includes data from different tables, it's not going to work. Let me show that. In the visualizations pane, if I bring in a visual such as a table, if I click the table to put that tile onto my page, and then if I open up the products table and I drag the category field into the values area, it successfully lists the three different categories of product that we have. If I then drag the amount field from the sales table into values, it doesn't show me the correct value for each category. You can see I've got the same number four times. Now the value for the total is correct. 4.3 million, let's call it, is a correct figure. But we've got the same figure for the categories. It doesn't understand how to filter that total for pastries, food, and beverages. So it just shows the same total. Now that is because we don't have a relationship between the two tables, providing that filter context through the category and then into that fact table for the correct totals. So let me leave the visual there but switch to the model view on the left hand side. If I click on model, here is our model view. Looks a little bit messy to begin with because for some reason the tables are always all over the place. <laughs> so in addition to creating relationships, one of the first jobs is just to drag these in to some kind of meaningful position. So I can just drag them using their headers, into view, let me scroll over for the sales one. And you can position these how you like. But there are some quite common ways of positioning these tables. And I'm taking this approach of having the sales table, our fact table, our data table at the bottom. And then the lookup tables, also known as your dimension tables, up above. Now let me move products over to the right so that location is next to country because they are related like this. And now we can create the relationships. Now there's a few different ways of doing this, but the easiest way is just to drag between the two fields of the tables. So for example, to create a relationship between sales and products, the common identifier is that ID, or in sales, it's known as the product ID. So from the sales table, I'll hover my mouse over product ID, so I have that gray background, click and drag up to the ID column in products, which is the unique identifier that we created, and release my mouse, and there is the relationship. We have a one-to-many relationship from the products table of lookup into the sales table. A product can be sold many times. The ID is unique in products, but it's not in sales. And we also have this arrow on the line indicating the filter direction. So in the visual that we created previously, it will filter the category in products to pastries, food and beverages, and then produce the right total in sales. So if we wanted to check that out now, if I switch back to report view, it's working brilliantly. We now have the correct totals. Let's go back into our model view to create the other relationships. So for this next one, I'm going to drag from the location ID field in sales up to the location table, and it will correctly establish 
that there's a relationship between location ID and location ID. Once again, a one-to-many relationship. It filters through locations into cells. I can then create a relationship between location and country. If I click and drag from country code in location to country code in country, I now have a one-to-many relationship there as well because a country can have many locations. Some of them only have one, most of them have more than one location. If I hover my mouse over any of these relationship lines, it highlights the two key fields. So you can do that to double check that Power BI is using the right fields. You will certainly notice when you try and use them in the visual, like we have at the moment with our category sales. I know this product is working because of that visual, but just hovering over is a nice peace of mind illustration. We also have a manage relationships button up on the home tab. And if I clicked on that button, this will also provide information on those existing relationships and also the opportunity at the bottom to delete, edit, or even ask Power BI to auto detect them so that we don't have to create them ourselves. But bear in mind, it might make mistakes. So it's nice to be hands-on and set this up because if these don't work, then neither will our DAX or our visualizations effectively. I'm going to close this window and that is our relationships done. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.